क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the characteristic of the complex ions and now in this topic we are going to talk about the sidwick's electronic theory so what is that let me talk about that in this topic so friends i'm going to talk about a new theory that is sidwick's electronic theory so what is this theory actually In our previous chapters, we have discussed about the how to draw the Lewis structure of a particular atom and how it forms a bond. So similarly, here Sidwick extended the theory of Lewis for the coordination compound formation. So now let me give you an example here. According to the Sidwick theory, it is related to the electron pair that has been donated by the ligand. So whenever the electron pair of a ligand is been donated to the central metal ion, it forms a coordination bond. So this can be explained with the help of an example. Let me consider U2 plus ion that is cupric ion. Suppose it is surrounded by 4 moles of NH3. So here basically we understand that is NH3 that is it is a ligand also and it has an electron pair on it. So therefore whenever it will form a bond with the Cu2 plus ion, obviously it will donate its lone pair of electron obviously it will donate its electron pair to the cu2 plus ions vacant orbital and that is how basically the compound has been formed and that is cu2 plus ion it will be surrounded by four moles of nh3 thereby we could find this is nothing but the representation for the sidwick's electronic theory where we could find that is the charge of 2 plus is on it so this is how basically there are four ligands and that's the reason here basically we can find four coordination bonds so this is nothing but the sidwick's electronic theory for this complex similarly we can draw this for another complex also suppose if we consider an example that is ferrocyanide that is fe cn6 4 minus so how we can represent according to the sidwick's electronic theory so here we can find that is the fe in the form of fe2 plus ion that will be present in the center while the six cyanide ligands it will occupy the space and that's the reason that it could be represented in this manner where each cyanide has a charge of minus one so here also let me represent the other two cyanides ligand and here it is so this is how basically we can represent it but here we can also find that is a charge of four minus is on the complex so therefore there will be charge of four minus on the complex and the fe has a oxidation state of two plus so this is how basically we represent the sidwick's electronic theory and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this theory very much and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.